It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. As you guys probably know at this point, I really like Japanese monster movies. I talk about this topic so many different times on my channel. It is ridiculous to count the amount of videos that I have about this particular topic. However, with the coronavirus going on and everything going to complete chaos, I think that 2020 is actually the best year for Tokusatsu for many different reasons. And honestly, I cannot wait to show you guys my reasons because basically, since everybody is just staying at home, it seems as though that various companies across the United States are releasing various shows into English for everybody to enjoy. Before I get into greater detail about this topic, I first want to give a definition about what is tokusetsu. Basically, tokusetsu from Japanese to English literally translates to special effects. So a tokusatsu eiga will be like a special effects movies, or for a TV show, it will be like a special effect TV show. However, for the context of the United States, we use tokusatsu to refer to like Japanese programs with like giant robots and superhumans. So basically like with anime, we appropriated this term to say like a Japanese show from like Japan with special effects in it. I believe that the 2020 revival of tokusatsu started with this baby right here. Of course, this is like the Godzilla release that was done by the Criterion Collection that was released back in October 2019. And this went for sale for at least, I think, $200. However, you can get it nowadays for like $112. And when I saw this release for the first time, I just could not believe that a company went so far out for a particular subgenre that is not humongous for this sort of stuff. However, after this release, I started to notice like a series of different announcements in regards to Tokusetsu. After the Criterion release of the Godzilla movies, Mill Creek Entertainment just announced that they acquired the rights to Ultraman, and of course, they released almost all the Ultraman shows onto Blu-ray, both old school and Martin. And then after the Ultraman released this, of course, like there was like an announcement from like Arrow Video, and Arrow Video announced that they had the rights to the Gamera movies, and that a Blu-ray box set was gonna come out starting like this year in the summertime. After those Blu-ray announcements, there were two major streaming announcements that I thought will never, ever, ever happen as long as I was living on this earth. Of course, the first announcement that I saw that just blew me away was the fact that Shout Factory actually had the rights to Common Rider. Now, prior to this announcement to like Common Rider, Common Rider has been to like United States in some form or fashion. For example, like the Mass Rider series was like an adaptation for Common Rider. And of course, there was like the DVD release of like Kamen Rider V3, and of course, Amazon. However, to my knowledge, like the original Kamen Rider has never been released in the United States with subtitles. And so when I saw that news for the first time, I just honestly could not believe that Shell Factory had the rights to Kamen Rider. But after that announcement of Kamen Rider, Toei Studios announced their own channel that has hundreds upon hundreds of tokusatsu shows on YouTube. There was also this one major announcement that I almost forgot to mention. Of course, I'm talking about the Tokusatsu channel that's on Pluto TV. Now, this channel is dedicated to tokusatsu 24-7. They have, of course, Kamen Rider. They have all these Super Sentai shows that Shout Factory just licensed. And, of course, they have Ultraman as part of their lineup. To give you guys a true understanding of why people like me are just really excited about these announcements is because practically, like in the past at least, it was super hard, like super, super hard to find shows 
legally at least, the only real way to see like the Japanese shows in the original language with subtitles was actually fan subtitles. And so to have like a 24 hour TV station with just tokusatsu, to have like Kamen Rider, to have like an entire YouTube channel with hundreds and hundreds of shows with subtitles, that is pretty huge. That is pretty huge because many of these shows have never ever seen the light of day in the United States until now. And so practically like it's just amazing. I'm kind of like blown away like about the amount of announcements that we have this year for just Tokusatsu alone. And of course, like, I never thought I would see, like, Super Sentai here. I never thought I would see, like, Kamen Rider. I never thought I would see, like, hundreds of other shows that were done by Tori Studios or to have a 24-7 Tokusatsu channel. That is just mind-blowing. But, uh, anyway, I think this year, despite the crisis that we're facing, the epic the epidemic that we're talking about, of course, is the coronavirus. Despite all this negativity going on right now, I can safely say that this year in particular is so fantastic for us, for us Tokusatsu fans, to finally see the shows in legal ways. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And of course, I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.